The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the December 8th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And yeah, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but more important than that, and that's this, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-664. We'd love to hear from you. If you can't call it, you can always send me an email. You can send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tigers, then, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started. A wonderful Wednesday, of course. This is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, you got a mixed bag out here. The Dow is off 61. The S&P is flat. It's up two points. The Nasdaq is flat, 27 cents. The Russell's not flat, up 19 points. Semis are off 33. Trendy's down 56. New York Stock Exchange up 34. Wilshire up 120. Those are about a quarter percent to the upside. It's that spot volatility that is key. And we'll take a look at that in a few. Uh, gold is flat. Silver's down nine pennies. Lead the charge dollar-wise. The upside, you've got EPAM Systems, 79 bucks, 13%. Booking Holdings, 74. 3%. Roku, about 17% or 36. Mercado Libre, 27 or two and a half. Hub spot 23, 3%. To the downside, it is AutoZone, off 50 bucks, 2.5%. Nuve Corp down 35% or 34 bucks. Charter, Charter Communications, 16 to the downside, 2.5%. Costco off 2.5%, that's 13 bucks there. And Casey's General Stores down about $13, 6% to the downside. Let's go to our first caller. It is Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great, Steve. I thought I'd catch you earlier. Um, oh, thank you. Well with you. Th yeah, no, thank you for doing that. Now, is it uh, GGB? Uh, is that what we're looking at? Uh, there's, I think we may have talked about this in the past. It's uh, Gerdau. It's a Brazilian uh, steel company. Okay. Iron ore company. The reason I'm calling you is because there's just so much going on with this. I mean, just technically uh, on a lot of different levels that... Uh, there's A, B, C, you know, D patterns that are have completed. Actually, have expansions on the C to D leg. There's yes um, things that uh, so basically those have kind of completed. But I mean, there's no bearish reversal, so there's not really a reason to yes you know necessarily be getting out of the trade at the oscillator and change line turn from red to green not too long ago. That test hasn't been done, so there's things to kind of be cautious about or be watching, you know. But then there's also things that look bullish. Up. I just wanted to see if there are some levels up above I need to be watching as well, just to, to what might stall out. You know, that's, that's kind of my question, I guess. Sure. So good point. So yeah, we can see the extension or the ex you know, the ex extension of the A to B equals CD pattern on the daily chart. You're already above the one to one point six one eight level, but you're absolutely right. Until a bearish reversal candle were to form, we don't have any indication that this should really, um, you know, this would be no, no place to anticipate a short term top. Now, when I look at the weekly chart. Panel number two, we can see that right now price is taken on the resistance of the top of that profile. It's trading above at 517 is the top of the weekly profile. Five right now it's trading at 521. So I'd say on Friday, if this closes above 517, that would be a, a bullish outcome. If we look at what's transpired here to the to the downside on the monthly basis, price 
came all the way back to the bottom of its monthly profile, so 447. So you've got a level of support that is held there. I don't know if there was a bottom signal on the daily time frame or not. You're in a bullish, you were inside a bullish structured weekly profile. Price closing above this. This is suggesting to us, we'll go look at our other charts, that this wants to continue to move higher. The confirmation would be a close this week above 517. And then, of course, a second close next week above it as well. But right now, as we speak at 111 in the afternoon, things look awfully bullish for a GGB, that is Gerdo. Um, it's a ADR and let's go take a look at my white background charts out here so we're only in bar number five now I don't have so it did form a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern so as I was making that low back on November 8th it was this uh, gap to the upside on November 11th that went ahead and uh, confirmed that pattern price uh, a couple of days ago three four sessions ago took out its TD9 count breakdown resistance at 483 that is a positive I don't have a change in color on my oscillator and change line so no reason to suggest that it really has to pull back to that level. On a daily basis, Brent, the next area of resistance that I have is really 703. Now that's not taking a look at swing points and so forth uh, out there. Like I see a, a set of swing points around 620, that could be resistance. Uh, but the daily looks good. The weekly, as we take a look at it, also when it was pulling back, it was testing and then rejecting its breakout level, which was at $4.27. So this looks good. Uh, once it gets through here, yeah, I see that $6.20 area where you might find some resistance but this suggests that it wants to run back to the highs the monthly time frame as I take a look at it um, so right now on the monthly basis prices well, it's actually trading just above its green oscillator and change line so on a monthly basis it looks like it closed above 516 would also so Brent I don't see anything bearish about GGP not that it can't turn that way but you know whereas we're looking we're looking at it as with the information that we've got right now and I just don't see anything out here well that's nice to hear I'm in a lower price I'm in I think around 450 and I've got uh, a fair amount of shares it pays a really nice dividend I mean it's right now oh. I think it's a little over 10 percent at one point it was about 12 percent they paid a special dividend it was really nice a 29 cent dividend Cool. Um, so, yeah, it's been a good stock. I just it was having a little trouble there for a while. It's acting better. I just wanted to, what you just did, I mean, you took care of it. That's what I was wanting to know, like what levels you watch in. It's not just yeah. that. It's, there's there's uh, a positive. I, I definitely want to stay in the trade. I just did some things I know I'll have to be, you know, cognizant of and, and kind of watching yeah, but right now everything looks good. Unless you know, if, if nothing here changes, um, yeah, this thing wants to move higher. So, uh, so nice trade as uh, as always. And is there anything else, Brent, that I could do for you? I think that's it. I know John from Philly. He's in some of these. He's in Valley and in Rio. I think those are other ones I was looking at. And I've done some trading with, but I just decided to go with this one because of I think the valuation is pretty intriguing to me. I mean, they just made $70 billion in revenue last quarter, and so it's, a, it's a solid company. And I think yes. it's something that should be a higher price, in my mind, just, you know, fundamentally. And if technically it shows it can do that, but, you know, that's what I was hoping that you could uh, identify for me. I appreciate that. So just yeah, and, if, and then I, I, just pulled, I just pulled Valley up on the uh, chart here. And so, uh, you know, if you're going to use that as a, you know, it, this is right now trading above the top of its bearish structured weekly profile to close this week above 1313 you know says it wants to continue moving higher as well hey brett we're about to go to a hard break out here always good to hear from you thanks so much for calling and we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon that was brent in martinez california z roads with tfnn we'll be right back Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've uh, got a question in the Tiger's Den, two of them, one from uh, John in Philly. And John is asking, uh, what resistance is oil uh, dealing with? And uh, John, it's really simple. There's only one number, and that is 7251. And 7251 happens to be the top of its daily profile. So as we take a look at Light Sweep Crude, we notice that as it was pulling back, it was testing some key levels of support. Where are those levels? Well, on a daily time frame, you can see the rising trend line. I just pulled this back here to the uh, right. So you had a rising trend line. You had a larger rising trend line on the weekly time frame. And then on a monthly basis, once price broke above the top of that monthly profile, price went all the way back to its prior swing point. That was run from back in October of 2018. And then on the pullback here, because that was a bullish structured profile, if light sweet crude from a monthly perspective was going to maintain its bullish condition, price needed to find support at the center of that bearish structured profile, 6263. And that's exactly what it did. It actually got down to a low of 6243. So 20 cents below. You got to love how these profiles actually work. So support has held in the case of lights we crude. And the question is, will resistance fail? I don't know. But the resistance level, the only resistance level that you're really dealing with is at that 7251 level. I could go take a look at my intraday charts. They're not going to provide us with any additional information other than that. So that's the answer to your question. If price can close above 7251, then we're likely looking for a move up to 75.97 and then 79.30. Now, this is a bullish structured weekly profile. So just the opposite of what we looked at on the monthly basis. As price approaches that 79.30, the question is, will price be able to take that out or is that where price will reverse? But right now, you've got to deal with just simply where the sellers reside. That's at 72.51. John, thanks for the question. I hope that helps you out. And thanks so much for writing in. The next question inside the Tigers, then in fact, that's the only question that we have at this stage, nothing coming in by email, is to take a look at SNAP. 
and that is uh, Snap Inc. S N A P is the ticker symbol. So let me get my white background charts rolling here too. Rolling, 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 and then we could take a look at uh, anything that they might be signaling to us. So that would be S N A P. But uh, right now we can take a look at S N P, who likes Snap. Now we know. Oh, of course, you must be all in on Snap with those uh, call letters out there. Uh, what you're gonna like is uh, you're gonna like today's action. And today's action shows that price is trading above, well, it's old daily profile that had a bearish structure. There's a brand new daily profile that is in place right now. This is formed, the top of it was 51, you're at 54.36, this is looking good. Um, we'll take a look at uh, why, oh, because I didn't, I put in snazzy, S-N-A-Z, and S-N-A-Z apparently, uh, Oh, I put an S N A Z P. You get the old fat fingers. So we're just gonna wait just for a few moments here to let my white background charts come on, do it. They're gonna populate. And now let's go take a look at this for S N P. Who is in S N A P? So let's pull this over here and go see what it's dealing with. So your next level, your next battle. Okay, so now we see the battleground. So this has got a nice Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. It's got a TD9 count bottom. It's got everything that you want. And now today what price is dealing with is its breakdown resistance area, 54.77. The actual high today, let's see what the actual high today is. Not that it really matters, but we're going to go check it out anyway. 54.79. So that's really the battleground. If price can close above 54.77, you're on your way back into trying to fill that gap, maybe get up to 77.52. I wouldn't jettison the position or anything. You're just up against you. It's just good to know where the battleground is at. It's kind of like you and I, what we have out here is we have uh, um, an unfair advantage by knowing that. Now, if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, uh, you know, I could put in an A to B equals CD pattern. If I did, I can't do it on this chart here. You're going to get a confirmed, well, it appears you will get a confirmed by the B point with this nice bullish engulfing candle. That suggests that we should see a move up to 60.73. And on the monthly time frame for Snap, it's just getting back inside its daily profile out there. Uh, so it says that last month's close below the bottom of that profile may have been a false break to the downside. So we like Snappy. It's uh, just got to deal with 54.77. If it can uh, take that out, you're on your way to higher price out there. So hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Let's go to our next caller. It is Victor in Paramus, New Jersey. Victor, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing? Good, good. Where do you think Stitch Fix will go? Will it go to 11.38 or not? Well, let's pull up the charts out here. So it's trading right now at 1955. It's below its daily, weekly, and monthly profiles. So you're asking where might it go? Let's pull over the other charts out here, see if we can try to find some kind of other resistance areas or support levels. So we'll look at the daily first. There. I'm going back what? to, I think, a weekly gap I was looking at. You're looking at weekly. Well, here, I just want to give you on the daily, where we're at on the daily first. Now, on the daily, uh, price is negated. It had a TD9 count bottom. Uh, that formed a couple of days ago. And today's move lower has negated that pattern. It's triggered a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. We've got a gap to the downside. If you were to get a bullish reversal candle, not necessarily today, Victor, but maybe over the next couple of days, that could be a bottoming signal. You're asking, of course, is it going lower out here? As I put up the weekly time frame charts, the next target level will be 1230. So I think you mentioned 11 dollars or so yeah Price right is there, yep. 1238 yeah. to 1130 is a gap on a weekly there so yeah yeah so 1230 is the td9 count breakout level since price is below the first breakout area which is 2325 and there's no bottoming signal it looks to me like 1230 is where it's targeting so yeah i concur with your 11 ish uh, type range but 1230 would be the level i would be looking at uh first mm -hmm. and then uh, the first area of support though on a monthly time frame is going to be 1501 so 1501 uh, could hold. Uh, you're at 1955. Now, what you want to do uh, is, as price pulls back to that 1501 level, come back to the daily time frame chart. If you see some type mm -hmm. of confirmed bottom, that would be your entry into it. If we don't, then what that's communicating to us, Victor, is price should go target 1230. Anything okay. else that I can and answer for you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Give me uh, a planet here. What are you thinking these days? Uh, it looks like it might be forming some kind of bottom here. What, what is it? Level. What I was think that? 1840 was like the lowest. Who, what, 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 what symbol? From high to low on Fibonacci's. I think we hit the lower number on the Fibonacci. You know what I mean? The 1740 or whatever. I'm saying, where do you think we're going? Plantier, PLTR. Oh, PLTR. So let's go take a look at this. PLTR. Plantier. PLTR. They're like the next IBM in my mind. Well, you've got a, uh, so let me put it over here, PLTR. So you've got a brand new profile that is forming today. So your resistance level is 2007. You're thinking that this might go down to where? 
No, I think it hit its bottom because if you did a Fibonacci from the yearly high to the yearly low, I think it hit the lowest Fibonacci level and bounced off of it. You know what Got I mean? It. So, well, uh, let's see. Let's it go. Is. Let's go take a look at our Fibonacci numbers out here, and I'm going to do that by taking a look at the uh, uh, the monthly chart. So I'll go from its all-time low, its uh, IPO low, all the way up to its oh. high out here. And uh, 0.786 retracement level, the next area is about $16 and change, 1667 or so out there. So it's mm -hmm. really, when we take a look at the real Fibonacci retracement out here, it would suggest that it actually has lower to go if we were going to use that as our tool because prices yeah, are below I used the. Yeah, 17. I went for the yearly low. I didn't use from the IPO date. That's got it. I got it. Yeah, I, I, I understand. So I, the, the, the way that I would do it is the way that I just did it, which is the mm -hmm. flow that I see on the chart to the high and then take a look at it. But let's just take a look at Palantir as well on my white background charts here. Well, I've got a few moments. Um, you've got mm -hmm. a buy the D point out here. So that took place uh, yesterday with that Three River Morning Star. So it does look like on a daily basis you've got a bottom in. Victor, if price closes above 2007, that would just simply be the confirmation of that bottom. So hope that helps okay. you out. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks. Always good to speak you. to you. And uh, have a uh, wonderful Wednesday. Folks, you can give us a call as well. We'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Of course, you can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, 
Welcome, folks. Dow down 59, S&P's up four, NASDAQ 100 up 18. Let's continue our journey and take a look at their requests out here. I think we've got some from the Tiger's Den. The first one is going to be Nike. NKE is the uh, ticker symbol. Now, I didn't put down uh, what the request was for, so I'm just simply going to go through the chart. So we can see here Nike is consolidating with inside its daily profile as well as its weekly profile. So your resistance level is in the 177 to 179 area, and support is about 159 to 164. Let's pull over the Nike charts out here the other Nike charts, see what other signals we might have. So let's begin with the daily time frame. And then the daily time frame here, what do we have? Uh, we've got uh, not much. And I mean, literally not much. So just this sideways movement, I don't have any signals out here to suggest that the sideways movement is going to end. At least that's coming from the daily chart. How about the weekly chart out here? The weekly chart has a confirmed road's momentum indicator top. Um, so I'd watch 165.76 as a key area of support. If price gets below that, 159.10. And hey, below that, you're looking at 128.70. That's not the call, but you do have that uh that road's momentum indicator top and the sideways movement. So we don't see anything suggesting that that is going to change anytime soon. The monthly chart out here says, hey, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I still am uh, strong like bull, and it is. Trade above its oscillator and change line at 162.94 and above the top of its profile, bar number seven that formed last month. So this says that Nike maybe could form a, well, a bearish reversal candle would confirm a road's momentum indicator top here. So let's just call the the chart right now bullish but what's controlling this movement are the weekly and the daily time frames and there's nothing here that suggests that the sideways movement is going to change so i hope that helps you out whoever it was that had requested that and thanks so much for the request the next request i believe or at least this is the order i'm going to take it in was mu and that is micron mu is micron is trading out at what uh right now 85.69 in between it's uh a daily profile bullish structure that is 8270 for support 8771 is resistance looks to me like it's going to go target the 8771 um prices in trading inside it's a monthly profile let's see if there's any other signals out here for ticker symbol mu the other uh, uh the other piece of information we have is prices trading above its oscillator and change line that's green that puts us into a bullish condition however we are consolidating inside of that daily profile mu should go target the top and that's the 8771 that's what the daily chart is communicating to you and i at 1 32 in the afternoon the weekly chart is communicating to you and i price wants to go tag that 9068 level that's its td9 count breakdown level and if price can close above that then you're back to its all-time highs where that roads momentum indicator bottom form this has an a to b equals cd to the downside that completed on the uh, weekly time frame so you've got a gartley buy pattern in this so 9068 looks like that's in the cards for you eventually for ticker symbol mu that is micron technologies i hope that helps you out whoever was looking for that the next request was for roku so let's go take a look at roku roku trading out at 257 and change 257.70 or so price right now is taking out the top of its daily profile so it's an indication of a change in trend there was a new profile that formed yesterday or today this is above price that is a bullish signal the next price target profile wise would be 301.98 that would be the bottom of its weekly profile profile because it is bullish in structure the level that you would want to be watching for a counter trend move would be 326.24 that's level that price would need to clear in the case of roku now we'll pull over the white background charts what do we see out here daily a nice road's momentum indicator bottom with that piercing candle back up from two trading sessions ago so this is suggesting wants to make a move to 333.34 the weekly chart out here boy you've got a confirmed well it looks like yeah, you don't have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. And this is not going to form a uh, TD9 counter. It does not appear that it will. Um, so you want to watch the 279 and change area called 280. A close above 280 would uh, be a positive. And then the monthly time frame chart out here, nothing that's really going to assist us. So the daily, you've got a confirmed bottom. This suggests that price should continue to move higher. And on the daily chart, it's a 333.34 level that price wants to go tag. So I hope that helps you out. The next request was to take a look at uh, ARWR. So let's put that up on our screen, ARWR. That is right now trading where? 74.19, and it is above, or oh, a brand new profile forming here as well. That is today. The top of that profile is 73.23. So, Dan, a close above 73.23 would be a beautiful thing. Now, on a weekly basis, you want to see a close above 73.46. That's resistance. So, if we get those two closes, what then 
it is signaling to us, that's Arrowhead Pharmaceuticals, has moved to 86.63, the top of its monthly profile. Let me pull over just the daily time frame. That's all I've got on this set of tabs out here. See what other information that we can glean. You like it because price is also above its green oscillator and change line. So staying above that daily profile says to me you go back to its swing points in the 84, 85-ish type area out there. So ARWR looks pretty good. And, of course, you want to see this close the week above 7346 so i hope that helps you out and thanks so much for the request the next request coming in from hector and the fuel injectors let's go uh, pull this up hector wants to take a look at newmont mining nem is a ticker symbol out here so let's get this up on the screen hector says newmont mining has a beautiful weekly a b equals cd down which began in may final last week it showed life and a turnaround may be poised to have a nice two-month run higher is it finally time to load up the wagon for a two-month hole? So I am already long Newmont Mining, so I just simply want to make sure that they throw that out there. Price right now is trading into the top of its daily profile on a daily basis. That's 56.13. Price closed above it yesterday. If you get a second close above 56.13 today, that would be a bullish move, and that would suggest that we should see a run to 58.71. 58.71 is the top of its weekly profile. Price can take that out. Then we're looking at 60.45 to possibly. 7222. But let's pull over. I've got a daily weekly chart here for Newmont Mining. Let's see what other information we can glean from it. So this bottom with a TD9 count. You can see the TD9 count right at the breakout support level of 5364. That is the reason that Stevie is long Newmont Mining. And again, if price can take out uh, for a second consecutive session, the top of that daily profile, then Hector, we're looking for a run to 5947. Now, 5947 is the top, is the breakdown resistance level. If price can close that, then Newmont Mining would be generating a, a change in trend signal. So we always have to take this one step at a time. Uh, I know you're asking, hey, what does it look like for the next two months? Right now, all I can do is give you the, uh, the roadmap ahead where there's resistance, where the sellers are. Of course, right now, today, it's dealing with that, the top of the daily profile. But if price closes above that, we know the signal is 59.47. The weekly chart out here, we take a look at Newmont Mining. You're referring to an A to B equals CD to the downside. I would hearken back and say, not so fast. And the reason that I would say not so fast is because it has a confirmed TD9 count bottom on its weekly time frame. Now, the pullback in price was nothing more than pulling back to test that TD9 count and to test that bullish structured weekly profile. So support is held. The resistance level here, Hector and Patty, that price needs to close above is $60.18. Is this a back your truck up? I don't believe in the back your truck up. I believe in the 1% rule out there because you want to live to play another day out there. So, you know, over leverage can get you into a uh, S load, not a Stevie load, but another S kind of load of trouble out there. But if you're asking me, has Newmont, Mod has Newmont Mining bottom? Well, the daily and weekly are saying it has. So Hector and Patty, th Patty, thanks so much for writing in. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes, folks. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So Ruby and our Tigers then wants to take a look at the gold contract. We'll do that in a moment. Right now, what we have up on our screen here is gold price in dollars, euros, yen, and uh, pounds. And when things are rallying, you like to see this moving higher in all currency values, and you like to, if it's moving lower, lower in all currency values. Right now, today, we don't have that. We've got gold moving slightly higher in terms of dollars, very left-hand panel, lower in terms of euros, higher in terms of yen, higher in terms of pounds so uh, you know the, the the buyers have a little bit of an edge but not much of an edge out there but that's why we're not seeing gold moving really on traders desks out here let's go switch from this set of charts and go take a look at our multi time frame charts for the gold contract so momentarily we'll have that up on our screen the upper left hand corner is going to be the monthly time frame monthly shows a td9 count top that's just led to a sideways movement out here uh, the weekly chart shows a buy the D point that took place at its breakout level at 1686 out here. Price just trading inside its weekly bullish structured profile. The daily shows a TD9 count bottom. The oscillator and change line changed uh, colors a few days ago. So price and that are basically going to test each other out here at the 1795 level. It's really 1802 that you're watching. If price can close above 1802, we should be on the way to 1875. A price test and rejects 1795, 90 or so. Well, that says that we might go back and test 1773. If we look at the 30-minute uh, chart out here, not much helping us. Price headed up to resistance level of 1786.90, 1787.20 is resistance on the 60. Uh, price is trading to resistance right now on the 120. Uh, the same, uh, not the same for the 240 out here. So that's really all about, that's all that I see out here uh, right now, Ruby. So I hope that that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for the request. Let's go to our next question. This one coming in from Nancy, fancy Nancy, that is. And uh, give me a moment here. we got to switch screens. Let's get back to our, I've done pretty good today, right? I don't think I've screwed up uh, too much or maybe at all. Uh, that's in the changing of the screens, the old changing of the guard. And Microsoft MSFT is what Nancy wants to look at. And Nancy says, hey, Steve Arino, if you haven't already covered it, would you give me the support and resistance on Microsoft near to them two weeks? Well, I, I can't tell you how long the support levels or resistance levels will hold. I can just tell you where we're at right now. And where we're at right now in the case of Microsoft is a brand new profile that formed today. This is on the daily time frame. Your support level is 326.53. Your resistance level is 339.28. 
If price were to close below 326.53, then we'd be looking for 321.90 to hold. That is the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. And if price closes below that, then Microsoft has got some other issues going on. And we'll take a look at what those might be. Actually, give me a moment here to change those screens as well. Give me a moment. Radio charts. Okay. Uh, so what else is it that I can see out here? So I see an A to B equals CD to the downside in the case of uh, Microsoft. And yesterday was a gap to the upside. Ooh, very, it's already Johnson would say. Very interesting. So what Microsoft did here, Nancy, is this went ahead and completed a Gertley buy pattern. Let me show you the pattern. Here's the A to B equals CD. This was a good old one-to-one -one level. And it was yesterday's candle, that gap to the upside. That's the bullish reversal signal. And that suggests a Gertley buy pattern. That suggests, but now you've got a, a, a little battle brewing. And that's at that 339.28 level, the top of its uh, profile. Now, all of Gartley buy patterns have five different potential outcomes. Those first four outcomes, just going to go ahead and get rid of the trying to get rid of it. there we go those first four outcomes are going to be retracement levels victor and i we're talking about retracements in this case here we're going to use the high from the trading day of november 22nd down to the low that's out here from december 3rd so the first level would be the 0.382 well you gapped above that yesterday so check that off list next area is at 337.84, that's a 0.618. You also have resistance at 339.28. So there's your battleground. Above that, you're looking at 343. Above that, you're looking at 350.09 or thereabouts. Looks like I didn't actually grab the exact high out there, but back to its all time high. And the fifth outcome would be an A to B equals CD to the upside out there. So you've got a nice bottom here. Looks like Microsoft should go at least tag 339.28. Let's pull over my white background chart, see if there's any other information. Oh, there is. So in addition to an A to B equals CD, Microsoft. Microsoft generated a TD nine count. Now we see the resistance. So we, we know the profile resistance. It turns out that at 339.45, very close to the top of that daily profile, is its TD nine count breakdown level. That is likely where price is going to target. And if price can get above that, we go back to tag its all time high. So, Nancy, I hope that helps you out. I know you're asking me for the next two weeks out here. I can only give you the play by play today, the levels of support or resistance, whether it's made a bottom, which in this case here, we have proven that it has. Let me just look at the weekly chart for you out here. Uh, and, and remember, the weekly was pulling back to support. When something takes gets back to support on a weekly base, what you like to do is go to the daily time frame, see some kind of bottom pattern. In the case of Microsoft, we have. On a weekly basis out here, is there any other signal? Not a zip, zilch, nothing. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's our call right now, Nancy, and I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Now, Jimmy wasn't asking me about the SPY, but he did put the SPY inside the Tiger's Den. And so what I thought I would do is just go share with you what the SPY did yesterday. But all of you already know what the SPY did yesterday, don't you? It was pushing higher into a swing point with what? Volume. Not a little bit of volume, but major volume. That's right. The swing point for the SPY out here on the trading day of November 22nd did volume of 72 million shares. And what did it do yesterday? It closed inside it with 95 million shares. Now, I'm not a great mathematician, but I know that's over 10 percent, maybe like 15 percent or so with regard to the volume. Maybe it's even 17, 18 percent. So a pretty good move in the spies. Now, when you close inside a swing point with volume, what that tells us, especially for as long as print. So you don't have to have that same volume today. You're already pushed into it with volume. And as long as price remains above that low, that low is 467.35. This And also cl price closed above the top of its bearish structured profile, which is a bullish signal. So this is really suggesting to you and I that what the SPY should do is go tag the top. And that's at the 473.54 level. Now, I know there's a lot of people itching to go short. I, go take a look at the SPY. Go take a look at the volume and make sure. Make sure that that's what you want to do right this very second out there. And maybe it is, but the information that's coming from the spy says, hey, not so fast. Now, if we take a look at the rest of the market out here, some other tools or what have you, let's go take a look at New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator. You know, I shared with you as this was getting down to the minus 150 level, that was in an oversold territory. This back on the trading day of December 1st, closed down in the minus 293 level. Boy, that gets bad. We haven't been that oversold since the October, uh, since the uh, February, March 2020. Uh, debacle. But what we really have out here, and we really need to pay attention to that, is we have substantial, significant, gigantic, ginormous market breadth.
net market breadth has taken us up above that zero threshold level of the advanced decline oscillator. That is panel number two. It closed above it yesterday. A second close above it today puts the uh, New York Stock Exchange back in the hands of the bulls out there. Of course, we probably should go take. We will. We'll do it during the uh, two o'clock update. We'll take a look at our indice charts. We'll go ahead. I'll try to remember to take a look at the New York Stock Exchange. But this market breadth has been so strong. We could see a Zweig thrust indicator signal, and that's an important. Uh, that is a important bottoming signal. Now we ha we don't have it just yet, uh, and it's uh, something I won't go into the whole scenario uh, for you. But uh, we may have that to, uh, and, and if we do get that, but that tells us is we do head higher into the end of the year. When we get back to this breakout here, we do have everything up towards resistance. Those are the daily profiles from our TAS market profiles. Here's those charts right there. And we'll go take a look at what needs to take place in order for us to get short this market. Steve Roach with TFNN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. I've got the swag thrust uh, indicator up on the uh, top portion of the screen out there. And uh, the uh, red uh, uh, lines going from top to uh, bottom, those are confirmed swag thrust breadth signals out there. 
uh, now. Uh, and, and you can see that they uh, both have identified some nice bottoms out here. So we won't know. This is a ten. This is up to a ten day period of time. Uh, that we need in order for this signal to mature and confirm for us. And it has to get the, uh, and I'm not going to go into the mathematics of it, but just here you can see the blue lines at the bottom are at the 0 0.382 level. Price has to get below, or not price, but the indicator has to get below that. And then within 10 days, it's got to get up to the 0.615 area. And that's what we've got marked out here. So we'll be watching that. What I can share with you is the market breadth over the last couple of trading sessions has been ginormous out there. And that's what has taken us from that minus 250 level uh, up to above zero right now, which again puts the uh, market in the hands of the bulls. So one of the things you'd like to be looking for is a failure here. And so if at day's end, that New York Stock Exchange advanced decline line gets back below zero, that might be an indication of a end of a counter trend rally. The other thing that's gonna to wanna to watch for is that spot volatility. Right now, price is getting very close to the 50 day exponential moving average. That currently is printed at 2033, price is at 2055. Folks, if price closes below 2033, it's saying don't go short, don't go short now. Now, if that level holds, combined with the top of these profile areas holding, we'll pull up those TAS daily equity future contract, that's 4717 in the ES, 16456 in the NQ, 35900 in the Dow and 2282 for the Russell 2000. Well, then I get it. But uh, I, I get at least uh, taking a stab at the short side out there. But we've got other indicators that are saying, you know, be careful. Moy, be very, very careful at this stage of the game. So just make sure that you're using a stop out there and take a look at those short term time frames. See if there's any key levels of support that have failed. And as I look at the ES Mini right now, the answer is no. One level to watch for would be 46.66.25. Folks, stay tuned. You got two more great hours. Hey, join me tomorrow, please, at 8 a.m. We'll be recording that show from 8 to 9. Friday, I'll be off back with you on Monday. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. We'll talk to you soon.